Let's uh, shift focus now back to earnings. Godrej Properties reported uh, a fairly decent uh, operational result this quarter. Cost of borrowing has gone down for the company, while net debt has also slightly declined. Company has also launched six new projects. As we slip into the break, let us leave you with this chat that my colleague Alisha Sachdev had with Pirot Shah Godrej, the executive chairman of Godrej Properties. From a sector perspective, overall, if you look at it, there is a lot of consolidation happening. So if you look at the top 5, 10, 20 developers in each market, you will see that they are gaining significant market shares. Customers now really don't want to take the risks of working with developers they're not too confident about. So I think that is benefiting, from a sector perspective, the, the leading players in each market. I think at the company level, we've been very focused on trying to ensure we do our best to maximize the benefit from this trend, and we've been doing that. Uh, by ensuring the balance sheet is strong and well capitalized, which in turn allows us to invest into new projects. And given that the current environment is as weak as it is, um, there is a lot of opportunity to get the right investments to add the new projects to our portfolio. And those successful project additions that we've seen over the last two or three years, as they are now getting launched over the past uh, 6, 12, 18 months, are helping us uh, grow sales. So we've seen a, you know almost 90% uh, growth in value of uh, bookings during the quarter. And we hope to see um, you know, sustained good momentum both on the business development side and on the uh, and new launches and sales side. What's your take on the affordable housing space? Um, how interested are you in really you know, scaling up uh, as far as that uh, segment is concerned? And how much interest do you really see among your buyers in that space? Yeah. Well, you know, affordable housing is, is something where the definition is a bit uh, tricky. I think the government has now assisted in some ways by qualifying houses that meet certain sizing and pricing standards for benefits under affordable housing. And that's you know, typically a 45 lakh or under price point. Um, if, if I'm being totally honest, I don't really see a 45 lakh home uh, in India as an affordable home. I think there's still a pretty small set of the population that can actually afford to buy that home. So certainly I would call that more mid-income housing, which is a core part of our business. A large percentage of our overall sales would be of units that uh, fit such criteria. Um, if How you mean would you describe then a truly affordable home? You know, I think you have to look at what the average Indian's income is in and then therefore what the affordability is. And I think the average Indian probably today is, cannot afford a 45 lakh home still, unfortunately. Um, certainly, I think as incomes grows, as the country's e economy continues to perform, um, you know, that, that threshold will get higher and higher. But I would not say that today a 45 lakh home is something I would call truly affordable for anyone at or near the bottom but of the pyramid in India. What would that price point be currently then? You know, I think, again, it depends on what... what I think at the very bottom of the period, I, I unfortunately don't think there's any disposable income at all and therefore nothing would be affordable. But certainly I think 10 to 20 lakh per unit would be a much more affordable range and would, uh, would sort of be able to serve a much larger segment of the population than 45 lakhs would. Um, unfortunately, there are significant supply-led constraints and other challenges towards profitably serving that end of the market. So for now, Godrej Properties focus remains on what we would call mid-income housing. A lot of it will, however, qualify for, for the benefits as defined under affordable housing. And most developers today are, are calling almost everything affordable housing. So, so certainly, you know, we, we have a large segment of our, our portfolio that, that focuses on, on what, what, what we think is mid-income housing. Right, and you've already answered this in some measure, but then what will your investment strategy uh, be like going forward? And how much are you investing in new projects specifically for this fiscal year? Um, well, we hope to invest uh, a significant amount of capital in the, in the upcoming year. Um, you know, we have done two fundraises in the last 18 months. We did uh, a private placement in the first quarter of financial year 19 and did another fundraise with a, a QIP in the first quarter of this financial year. Cumulatively, through those uh, two, pr two fundraisers, um, we've raised about 3,000 crore of capital. Um, over and above that, we would be quite happy to raise some debt to be able to invest um, additionally. So cumulatively, I think we would like to invest in the next 12 to 18 months about 5,000 crore into new projects.